Hello and welcome to the Linux Classroom. Today we're going to be covering two commands, the CP or copy command and the MV move command. Thing to know about these commands, they work very similarly and they start with the command itself and then require two other options, two locations. The first location is what you're going to be copying. So I'm going to be copying the Etsy password file and where am I going to copy that to? I'm going to copy it to my home directory right there and that's the extent of the command again this is what you're copying and then the second part of the last part of the command is where are you copying it to that can be an absolute path or relative path I'm using absolute paths right there if you're confused uh, because paths are a very big part of understanding these commands you can follow these links that I have showing up on the screen here now you can also let's see you can also what if you override something so we're gonna try and override the same command I'm just gonna issue the same command and let's see what happens here Oh, it captures it see so you get a warning saying that it's going to override I'm just gonna hit a yes and that means it will override and update that file so there's a little gotcha there if you are going to copy over something it does warn you a little bit we can also use a dot to identify our current location so again I'm gonna copy now Etsy hosts and I'm gonna do put dot right here again this is a relative path type of thing where I'm just saying hey I want it to be dropped right here in my current folder and that does that and if we go ahead and look at what I have you'll see that my host file and my password file have been copied over into my home directory we can use relative paths as well I can use CD and I can move this file one over to my locally temp folder right there I can do that so I'll do file one and I will copy that to temp so again this is the file I want to move that is the local or relative path of where it is and I want to move it here to this relative path right there and if I hit enter and now if I type ls temp you should be able to see that that file is now has been copied over to that location now we can copy more than one file at one time for instance I have some of these pictures right here pick one two and three those PNGs if I want to copy all of those to the temp folder I can do that as well and I can just list them just like this one right after the other so we have the copy command here I finished the command we listed each file that we're copying right in a row there pick one two and three and then the final option is the folder in which we want to move it to so again we're doing the same thing right what we want to move we're listing second right after the command and then the final option is where we're moving that to and if I go ahead and enter and then we type ls we can see whoops I need to actually do ls temp we can see that those pictures have been copied inside the temp folder now what if we want to copy a directory let's see what we have here we have this directory that I have right here I want again to move that to my temp folder so we can go ahead and do that we can simply just do copy dir temp now we may get an error here and we do saying that the R option is not specified meaning we're not using copy dash R to copy this directory over the dash R stands for recursive which means if that directory has stuff in it you want to and need to move that stuff with it as well so we're just going to add that dash R and we put temp and then that should have moved over fairly cleanly and we see now that that directory is there as well so the move command works exactly the same way let's go ahead and move these book documents here and move those into our temp folder so we're going to use the MV command and we're going to list book one book two and book three and we're going to move those to the temple so just like the CP command what we want to move and where are we going to move that so now I go ahead and hit enter that copied over to the temp folder. so now if I type LS we show that those book files are gone however if we look into the temp folder we see that they have been copied or actually moved over into the temp 
folder. Now let's try a directory, right? Because a directory was a little bit different with the copy command. Let's do move dir, and we're going to move this to downloads. And if I do that, there's no R option that needs to be used. The move command does it absolutely. Moves dir directory to the downloads folder. If we go ahead and look at this, we see that that has indeed been moved. I hope this has been helpful for you. This is the CP or copy command and the move command, and I hope you have a great day.